some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. News pimp Robert Sharp. Robert Sharp. For Robert Sharp. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Crime Chronicles. In today's episode, I'm going to cover the case of Las Vegas notorious pimp Robert Sharp III. March 2014, court record states that Sharp, age 28, was driving with Kiera Hayden, age 24, when he came across Autumn Richards, age 18, at a bus stop. Richards was headed out of town to escape a troubled family life. Sharp invited Richards to come party with him and Hayden. Sharp promised Richards he would take her to the bus station in the morning for her to catch her bus out of town. Richards got in the car with Sharp, a decision that would change her life forever. Immediately after meeting Sharp, Richards was forced into a life of prostitution, working the Las Vegas Strip casinos. Sharp would beat Richards because of things that happened while he pimped her at the strip casinos. If she entered through the wrong door, she was beaten. If she was stopped by security, she was beaten. If she sent him a text before she got his John's money in her hand, she was beaten. Sharp would send Richards out with his most trusted prostitute, Kiera Hayden. Hayden often watched Richards at night to ensure she couldn't escape. Richards was allowed to call her family maybe once a week, with Sharp in the same room monitoring her conversation. May 2014, after a few months of being prostituted, Richards told Sharp she wanted to leave him, and that's when things turned really dark. Sharp threatened to kill Richards and her family. He started beating her with a metal pipe, his fist, a twisted hanger wire, and a sock stuffed with oranges. The beating went on for hours. If she cried out, Sharp would beat her further. He turned up the volume on his stereo, replaying the same song over and over, singing along, laughing, in order to drown out the sounds of Richard's voice. Richards would endure torture from Sharp on a daily basis. Sharp sliced open her tongue and poured hot sauce on a fresh wound. Sharp played Russian roulette with a gun pointed at Richards' chest, pulling the trigger twice. Sharp took out another gun and pistol whipped Richards in the back of the head, causing her to bleed. Sharp forced her to lay in the bathtub full of ice before blasting scalding hot water on her freezing skin. Sharp burned Richard's right foot with an iron several times where she had burns on top of burns. Richards was forced to sleep in Sharp's garage because of her rank infectious wounds. He would give her a jug of water which she had to refill with a hose in the backyard, which was the only place she was allowed to rinse off. Sharp fed her cereal or ham sandwich every other day. Richards wounds had become so bad to where they had turned into gangrene. Sharp decided to get rid of her by trying to sell her to another pimp, but Richards looked nearly dead, so Sharp left her near Wendy's restaurant that was across the street from UMC Hospital. At first, Richards told medical personnel that she was homeless and had been beaten while sleeping. Later, she told police that she had been healed, beaten, tortured, and forced into prostitution for eight weeks by Sharp. An investigation took place immediately. Since she didn't get the medical attention, the finger had became gangrenous and needed to be amputated. Richards also lost part of her buttocks because they had become gangrenous as well. She also endured 12 surgeries to repair damages done while with Sharp. September 2014, Robert Sharp III was arrested for 18 charges. Some of the charges were conspiracy to commit sex trafficking, sex trafficking, conspiracy to commit kidnapping, first degree kidnapping, first degree kidnapping resulting in a substantial bodily harm with the use of a deadly weapon, assault, mayhem with the use of a deadly weapon, living from the earnings of a prostitute. Sharp was booked into Clark County Jail on a million dollar bail March 7, 2016, sharp trial begins. Richards testified. I'm a pimp. She is my home. I couldn't look out of my eye. My left eye had bruises all over my body. Prosecution showed the jury graphic photos of Richards, her hand after her finger was amputated, her buttocks after part of it was removed due to the vicious beatings she suffered at the hands of Sharp. 
sharp attorneys cross the exam. Are you lying now or are you lying then? The state would have you believe that Mr. Sharp spent all this time and effort cleaning things up, but would miss five blood spots. DNA proved to be a key point for the prosecution. Metro CSI investigator testified. It was a swab, again, from the east wall of the master bedroom, two feet two inches from the floor, and that DNA profile also matched that of Inside of Sharp home, police also found a yellow iron pole that was allegedly used to beat Richards and an iron allegedly used to burn her. Richards' clothes was also located in the home. After a five days trial of testimonies from Richards and several witnesses, the prosecution. The defendant burned Autumn's foot with an iron. She gets beat so many times in her backside with the metal wire hanger contraption and the yellow metal pole. In fact, it gets so bad that it turns black. That when she couldn't go out anymore, it angered the defendant because she lost her value to him. And sharp attorneys closed their case. On March 9th at the bus stop, a car pulls up and she's willing to go off with two individuals she's never met to drink, smoke marijuana, and have sex. That's who Mariah, excuse me, Autumn Richards is. March 14th, 2016, almost two years to the date of when Richards met Sharp. After nine hours of deliberation, the jury of 10 women and two men came back with a return verdict of... We, the jury, in the above entitled case, find the defendant, Robert Sharp III, as follows. Count one, guilty. Count six, guilty. Guilty of 15 felony charges, including assault, sex trafficking and kidnapping. May 17th, 2016, Robert Sharp III, age 31, stood there motionless with a blank stare as the judge sentenced him to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The story doesn't end there. May 18th, 2017, Nevada Department of Correction reported that Sharp was found unresponsive in his cell at High Desert State Prison. Sharp was transported to Valley Hospital, where he later passed away on May 20th, 2017. There was no indication of foul play. The coroner determined that the cause of death was a heart condition and deep veins blood clots. Thank you all for watching. Please click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. Leave a comment, click the thumbs up button, and share it.